referrals can be made at another time. So. I know you see the Thank different you. treatment, Pastor Gilbert. There's no different treatment. We're on a two minute. I'm just Thank saying. You. I'm just saying. I'm a councilman. Councilman Davis. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm kind of appalled at all this garbage I'm hearing thrown up here at me because of 1420. 1420 been around a while, and so is Mr. Dumas, which is sitting back there. I'm tired of the jealousies I'm starting to hear of these weak so-called activists. Look, let me tell you something. I don't know nobody, I'm going to say it again, nothing but to love them. I'm not a fair-weather friend to nobody. If I'm your friend, I'm your friend. If I'm not, I'm not. When it comes to the man administration, me and the administration, I'm sitting here to help move this city forward in unity, not in division. Because these weak activists think I'm somebody to play with, but I'm not. Let me tell you something. Because, Mr. Murphy, because you did that charter, don't mean you're a mastermind of the charter. That was a document to get poor folks out of this city formerly known as Flint. You don't know nothing about brownfield redevelopment. You don't know nothing about the developments that's going in on the north side they ain't got nothing to do with poor folks. Poor folks ain't in nothing that that charter, which they need a document to move forward to, that, that cultural center movement and other movement, and notice ain't no moving on that north side. Because these weak folks sitting up here decide to fight the administration, I'm sitting here to work with them. I'm a strong individual, and I have a voice in this community in all wards, by the way. I, I can name out your mouth, when I get, Mr. Dumas, you'll make a mistake to put me on 1420 this week because I unload on them. I'm nothing to play with. I'm going to forever. Wait a minute. I'm not on, nobody's rubber Come on, stand. you guys. I'm when it comes to the ministry. Stop it right. Yeah. Let me tell you this. Come on, you guys. I'm going to call Officer Metcalf. I'm asking you. You, you, you got to make your, your statement. Mouth. And now. Guys, I want to say this. I sat there in blatant Mr. disrespect Mr. today. Again, with Mr. May sitting there, he defended the man because I didn't say a word. Y'all sit up here and had the whole administration sitting here under a so-called whatever you want to call him with nothing getting done. And name calling and fell out of control. I didn't say now mumbling word. And I just said to myself, here we go again. How much disrespect you going to do administration? All this high technical stuff, you're always going to have issues you have to make adjustment with. So what it get out of order? You don't need to jump. I don't need to jump in and try to fly an airplane. I ain't never had a pilot's license. Them folks could work that out on their own. We got our own troubles out in our wards. But y'all so-called activists that don't know nothing, Land Bank got their movement going. How does it find dollars flying? You, you Watch this. They shrinking neighborhoods about to do with the first and second ward because you got to have so many residents over in the wards. They studied them on and ain't bringing nothing back. You can smile if you want to, but let me tell you something. You're not smart as you think you are, and I'm done. That being said, man, we got a uh, former uh, second ward councilman, the king. Maurice Davis, man, in the building. That would be right there. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? Man, you know it's right? so good. I'm excited to be here. Man, I'm excited to be here with you, man. Hey, we know Hoes Bar, man. We, hey, we two of a kind, baby. <laughs> oh, it, it's on tonight. It's oh, on. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on, man. How it's you on. Been doing today, man? How you been doing? I'm doing fine. Just chilling out, enjoying Sunday. Just laying back. Okay. Yep, okay. that's about it. Okay. Man, um, I've been promoting all week, man. We uncensored, man. We ain't holding back, man. Um uh we ain't holding back shit, man. Shit, we can get it um, on. I, I want um I want to um I want you to elaborate, man, off um I'm just gonna get into it, man. What's this right here? Hey, hey Maurice, was this right here may um racially motivated? Yes or no? Come on, hold on. But unless we address the monkey on the in the room. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Come on, what it can. Hell oh, yeah. Listen, listen. Hell yes, it's embracing any damn body with ears. If Maysnum was on uh the opposite side of the fence against Pfeiffer, you man, they'd be up one side of his ass down the other. He said the monkey. <laughs> In the room, 
was her. I ain't kissing Liddell's ass. Don't get it twisted. Right, but an H right. is an H. That's like if we slipping and say hockey or something. You know, people going to catch it. Black folks caught it, and I can't understand how in the hell Dumas them didn't catch that. Because they, they on this side or that side. Truth is truth. Now, was it intentional? Probably not. Hell no, but he said it. Don't act like that man didn't say that. You know, monkeys refer to a nigga in the room. I'm sorry. Can, you, can I cuss on your broadcast? Hey, that's what my co host <laughs> And that's my co host That's my LP. He said, he said, whether uh, my man is, uh, is a racist or not, he, he, he said some racial shit. He, 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 he broke it down to me. He said that was a poor choice of words, even if it wasn't meant to, even if it wasn't meant, what it was, you know what I mean? That was so, a like slip said, of words. And I, and, I, and I don't fuck with the deal, so, you know what I mean? In no type of way, so, you know what I mean? But, uh, right is right. You're absolutely right. I got it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I just want to, I just want to, uh, your, your, you know, your take on that. Man, because you know that's that's one of the hot topics around Flint. You know what I mean? And um, uh, shit, it's a bunch of mess down there. Uh, it ain't nothing but mess. Now, man, did he intentionally mean it? I don't think so. It just slipped out like a poop. It slipped out like a fox. Yeah, it yeah, slipped yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was just, it slipped out. I, yeah, I, I don't think he intended it. No, no. But it was, it was a, it was a, yeah, it was, it was a um. Like you say, you know what I'm saying. Um, That's right. But um, what's up, man? What you think about that? Um, that I call it the Ashley Capital, uh, uh, wa uh Watergate, uh, about uh, Quincy taking that line more. That uh, they, uh, they supposed to get me levocated, take the line more. And, they did something for the jail, which I know that's I know you know the charter, the all the rules of the, of the city council. That 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 that's illegal, right? Right, Maurice? It's illegal, but let me tell you something. Uh bust down a brick. Every damn okay. thing down there is corrupt. Okay. This city would be in a whole different predicament if it wasn't for the corruption. But the problem is that it's hitting corruption from the public. When we have so-called executive session, a lot of shit go on in them sessions that you can't bring publicly, but you hear corrupt shit back there. So corruption begot corruption. And right gonna be always right, wrong is wrong. So it's what the folks normally do, lobbying, and them big corporations such as uh, Ashley, whoever building that gigantic building down there on Hamilton, they know that's the norm. But see, we divided and conquer, so we bring it out when all everything's sitting there. Everybody, I'm gonna say it the short way, got a price. Everybody right. got a price. They're gonna fold right. under, right? And that's what you see. Them votes, they pay for them damn votes. Like now, that that illegal shit that they send out, you are gonna see it. If Mays get a recall, he gonna catch hell because of something. What you call? Dark money out there, like Mays oftentimes talk about in the election. They mail out all these flyers. Why in the hell is it a secret? Because it's some secret money they want who they want in them damn chairs. Liddell had it. Mays right. Quincy Murphy had it. He's right. A lot of stuff go on behind the scenes, and that's corrupt. Hell, if you win your award, it should be because your award voted for your ass to be down there. Not because of the gender of the mayor and whoever else, the stakeholders, want your ass in that chair. And that's what you see. As the capital is a bunch of bullshit. Because what? Nothing that council do, check it and see, affect the damn thing that's moving down on Hamilton Street. They're going to be through with that building before they open that damn store. Right. Right, before the grocery store open. <laughs> before that store open, that whole building will be functioning. Right, 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 right. Hey, um, I don't know if you was um uh, checked it out the other night. This will happen at the end of the damn clown show, man. Go ahead. I call it the I call it the melee at city council. Hold on. Go ahead. <laughs> Can you always show we're trying to fight somebody and get fucked? 
She trying to fight somebody. She trying to fight somebody. Yeah. 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 Well, it seemed like on the outside, I see a plan and a plot on the inside. <clears throat> what you see? I see a plan and a plot, and, it, and it's working wonderfully. To move money, it's called distraction. Right. The players in this big distraction in a professional arena, number one in governance, it's always going to be order, not dysfunction, but it's going to be under accordance of unification. Now, watch this. We got all of these opera funds. You got all these developments. You got the tiny houses. You got all kinds of damn things going on. Changing of the sides of town. Waves. North side is, is downtown North End Flint. The, the Burbage is changing while they're in dysfunction. While their ass is in dysfunction, notice, ain't no movers and shakers up there. It's just them like in somebody's basement or club, and they let them act like that to distract while they handle their business, not moving. They moving flip forward, all right, but without our asses involved. Huh. And that's what right. you see. Right. I'm smarter than that. When you sit down there, I guess because I've been on a lot of different sides of the fence. It ain't about no damn rapper's rules of order and all that parliamentary garbage. It's about the discord. If I want to win, I distract your ass and I keep moving. And notice this. Ain't nothing getting held up, is it? They got the tiny house development. They got bursting moving for everything they want to do. is lining up to tax our ass right up out of here while they clowning with that dysfunction. And because of dysfunction, the mayor parades it over the radio and in the public so he can negate them and keep it moving. Because if he wanted to, one call to the governor, that shit is done. Right. With the police. If they really wanted to, wouldn't they have the state police down there? Think about it. Instead of just Flint. Wouldn't they right. have all the municipalities? Because that's a right out riot waiting to happen. But no, they need that. Keep them damn Negroes or a handkerchief <laughs> head, whatever you want to call them, in this court while we take their damn property. That's what's going on. Right, 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 right. That that's I mean, like you said, distractions, man. It's a we distraction. Got, man, it's uh, so many goddamn distractions while they run off in the sunset with the opera <laughs> opera fines and shit. You know what I mean? Uh the you got it. Was, Terrence, the you got it. Fines, the opera funds was for economic development. For those who don't know what that is, that's for Keisha that had her uh, her beauty supply um, shop out of her mama basement or so doing people hair out the baby, cutting hair out the basement and, and, and want to follow the business. You know what I mean? That's what that I shit for, be. man. That's what it was. it was for the people. It wasn't for no motherfucking all these nonprofits and white people lobbying and shit. 
any different organizations and shit, squeezes out, ain't put nothing on the north side. Like, oh, my, you know what I mean? Absolutely, you're absolutely right. But see, it's just so frustrating to me because I I don't have to speculate. And I don't, I'm going in way deeper than I would even when I do that little podcast because I have no soft folks on there, you know. They ain't ready, but this is a real world. Satan don't give a damn. He gonna kill, steal, and destroy any way possible. But I'm gonna tell you something. That opera, which is just a damn acronym for American what? Rescue. Who in the hell no. been rescued other than no. the stakeholders? Exactly. Nearly them. Ain't nobody seen a damn dime and he want an increase of uh, $25,000 a year? The resident put his ass down there just like he put the council ass down there. What the hell have he done for them? Nothing. He keep mm -hmm. the discord with Mays and them. They love that because they doing what the hell they want to. By the time he come out of there, the Negroes and the poor white folks going to see what he done. He going to tie our heads off with door out of uh, out of grant, he got a woman doors out the state downstairs. He got that woman doing assessors from Grand Blake that says how you damn taxes. People here on frozen income, a pension which is at a deficit, by the way. Everything is going hell to high water, and only one benefit is the stakeholders. The residents gonna suffer every time I tell a resident, you better be careful. They're you're gonna lose your house, not my house. They don't understand wow. how the game is played. It's called taxes. Back in the day, they took your debt. They bought you out, the ones they wanted. And we came to the northwest side of Flint. But today, U of M study and students was down on up, a, up the street from me on Dayton. And they did a study. The median income is right here, what, 18000 whatever. And they figured out, hell, instead of buying them poor-ass folks out, all we had to do is raise the taxes up. Bam. Tax their ass out. And then they changed the damn charter. Like and here go the nail in the damn coffin. When they did their that. Tax their ass out. We're going to do no, it. They can say we're going to get them out. But here's another thing. Yeah. Once they changed that damn charter, what they did, it brought you out of the old charter. was 1974. It's 1977. The old charter. Houses built back then was in compliance today. So they updated to 2017, I think it was. Now, your house, you don't have money to repair. When the money come, like Habitat told that damn lie a couple of weeks ago, that $1.5 million was to help the residents, you don't, come, you, you don't, you, you don't, you, you don't, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You, you're not in compliance with what they want you to be. Right. So they can't do it. And now the money's spent. They know Man, it's a plan hey. to make sure they step on your ass and reallocate the funding hey. where? The new North End of Flint last week out the mayor's mouth. Guess where? Terrace Town. Fifth Avenue to University. They call that the North End of Flint. And now they're talking about building a brand new damn soccer stadium on the North End of Flint. Football and all these other stadiums. How many Negroes you know play soccer? It's sad. So, so basically, they realigning everything, calling it the North Side when it's actually downtown area, right? <laughs> Flint ends at at Carriage Town right now. Okay. According to the master plan, because this is Greenland. You heard Woodson talk about it. I I did that study shit ten years ago, and I was with them when they developed it because it developed over here where I'm sitting on the north end because this is a historic district, and right. that's when they start being able to pull money from the state to start investing and tearing down historic properties when they're only supposed to rehab them. A lot of people don't know that. Everybody with an older house, it's money. Hey. Go ahead. I remember, uh, not to cut you, I remember 20, 30 years ago, that whole, not at that area down there, historic. I remember we sold so much goddamn poison down there, man. They didn't give a fuck about that down, down that, that, uh, that area, the third, old Third Avenue down by Atwood, uh, yep. Mason Street, all them houses Correct. not historical, University Drive, not with Third Avenue. Man, they Correct. didn't give a fuck about that shit then, man. Right? Now, all of a sudden, they give a fuck about it. It's historic land, man. It's imperative that people understand. This here move, it's a game, and they running the hell out of it while they down there fumbling the ball and think it's all about politics. They doing, they doing their thing right now. 
And we will not be able to come out of this hole shortly. Just like I'm pissed off. At last, this Saturday on 1420, the man had Mona Tisha, whoever that was, telling these young girls that can't feed themselves, go have a baby. We're going to give you $1,500. Have a baby. Matter of fact, by Valentine's Day. And the only way you qualify, you got to be from Flint, and you must be pregnant. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mario. Hold on, Mario. You mean to tell me the mayor go told, told, told that they had somebody telling the 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 the, the, uh, the citizens of Flint, the female love to go have a baby to get some money. Community update before it get pulled down. Community update, which comes on, you know, nine to ten. They took Duma's time as well. Now, community update hosted by the mayor. The whole thing talking about these girls need to go have a baby and watch this. You only getting funded from watch this zero to five. And I ain't gonna I ain't gonna elaborate on this, but if you remember oh. Educare when the water first got poisoned, they built a brand new school down on Cadillac and University called Educare. So it was zero to five. After five, now you stuck at North. They took all of the kids affected by the water from Flint, put them over there in Northwest. Even homes, put them over there in Northwestern. And now the study began all over again about 10, 12 years ago. Uh, since then, watch this. They're doing the study when she on there. Before he pull it down, it's for zero to five. You get the money. They they got yeah. the funding from zero. It's Hold a on. study going on on us. Hold on, Maurice. Step back. Hold on. I got something for the, the, okay. the, the person that did. Hold on. This You my big dummy of the day. Mayor of Flint for saying some shit like that. Hold on. God damn it. Hold on. Dummy. You big dummy. You big dummy. You big dummy. You big cold blooded dummy. You big dummy. See what you did? Oh no, you big dummy. I oh no, you big dummy. You dummy. Wow. <laughs> the the prevent, betterment of the people, huh? Man. man it's all Please. about that dollar. Please, Ten. man. It's all about Please. that dollar. Please. And man. They, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. We in a place where I've never seen. I'm 67 years old. I ain't okay. never seen this happen before because the strategies against. God bless everybody. It's always a will. Uh, a child steward might is a blessing. Roof might is a blessing. Community foundation is a blessing. But what happened when the blessing come, the, the wicked folks grab up the crumbs that's supposed to feed the people that need to. The rescue opera money is called rescue. You right. rescue me if I'm out in the ocean. You come and bring a boat and pull me out to water. Throw a we still right rescue there. You told me how to lightsaber. Correct. Ain't nobody got nothing, man. And ain't going to get, man, it's kids right now sitting in park benches with nowhere to live tonight, cold as it is. That's man. right. That's right. I promise you I'm telling you the truth. <sighs> you ride down there by, by the river, downtown right now. That's exactly what. Laying out and uh, in, 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 um, capping with them. Um, them capping bags and shit, man. Lay and, it out and, there right now. Taz, have you seen the new tiny houses? No, I ain't seen it. What are they at? Right there on, on, on uh, Fifth Avenue and Rook Street, right in front of that uh, uh, Catholic Charities. Watch this. It's two brand spanking new with all their cards and all of the sponsors on, on, on the plaques. Watch this. And next though, I'll be down. I'll be down. I can scream, man. I can scream. And they white. No help. No kind of day you're going to build brand new houses and the house next door about to fall down on the houses you build. Exactly. Go see if I'm lying. I'm going to go down there and check it out, man. Please. They probably, they probably cardboard houses, Maurice. Probably made no, out of cardboard, they, man. They, they're out of the wood, but here, here go the kicker. They know that people ain't going to have no money, so you'll be able to still call yourself, which is bigger than a shed, garage. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, some garage is probably bigger. 
But what I'm trying to say to you, Terrence, is this. While we divided, bickering back and forth about point order, point of information, the moves getting made is detrimental. The kids is poison. They can't speak. They can't count. It is not their fault. I got it now. It's not their fault. And have you ever, Terrence, I, 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 I triple dog day, go to any school at lunch hour. Well, it's only one. It's called the Jaguars. Go to Southwestern at the lunch time. But 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 Mario, you gotta think about this, right? Um like that situation with the chair, with the, the teacher. Man, you know what I mean? We got the kids, man. Them kids is what? Uh what? They they about what 14, 15 years old, so right. Yeah, poison so by the water. So that they means why the why the crisis officially started in fifteen officially. Okay. So that's what that's what we got nine years. Man, them kids got lead going through their veins, man. They it helps, it's, you know, that lead is for it fucks up their learning disorder and it causes behavioral disorders. You know what I mean? I I ain't I, can't start, do it, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't stalling the I ain't stalling the kid totally out or or the parents, but I'm saying they got a lot to do with that lead. The lead, man. You know what I mean? Listen, 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 Terrence. Let me explain something to you about the lead. Let me explain something to you about the lead. Back in the day, in 1977, 77, you could go to any gas station and get leaded gas and what? Unleaded gas. Unleaded. Leaded, right. Regular. They you had regular paint, gas. Regular gas. Lead yeah. paint. You had all kinds of stuff. We all been affected, but what happened was we of a mature age and it affected us. That's why we raised hell. But the new kids came up in these historic districts, if you remember, northern, northwestern, a lot of people stayed over here in like Civic Park. These houses built in the 1900s, and they had all these galvanized lead pipes. The duct tape got lead. Lead bank won't even, you can't call a plumbing and heating cooling to touch your heating system if you got duct tape because duct tape got different caustic chemicals. And did you not know? Lead bank cannot demo a house unless they come and abate it of the lead. They, they come around with zoot suits like they're astronaut, which is an extra five to eight thousand dollars to do. We always have been on the short end of the stick, and nobody seen. We can, I wouldn't dare blame not now parent, but I would blame this damn system because poor folks always get the short end of the stick. And how did they justify it? move a few Negroes into these good schools with educated kids? Move some Negroes that could afford it. Grand blank flushing. I'm not beating you up, a wasso. That way it justifies you can't cry foul. And it's foul as hell what they did to us. Teach as a teacher. They can't teach. These kids need help. Just like that help uh, Mona, whatever her name was, she came on zero to five. Have a baby. Why? We need to do a study and, and see if any update since the poison. But yet, Unless the marriage is naive to it, I give I give him I give him a, a go a pass car if he naive. How the hell is you married and I pick it up a nobody as y'all say, but your educated ass didn't pick it up in the house with a state rep and gonna play with her. everything ain't good right now and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. People worked all their life for their house. Play any tape like you did with that old console tape. It was on point. It was on point. Because whatever I say, Terrence, I, I'm I'm the type, I got to make sure I do my due diligence. I'm a sponge. I'm going to take in knowledge. People don't know. Some things maids don't know. Because why? They wouldn't dare let him know what I'm talking about. I know how they operate. Chris Martin them changed. Why? The money moved behind the scenes. And the public don't know. Aqua funds was to help us. Ain't nobody seen a damn dime. But the stakeholders and whoever on this side or that side. So that's yep. what you see. A house divided and now we fall. Yep. Meanwhile, the rich get richer and the poor don't get a fucking thing. But you know the, I mean? here's the problem. It's a fix. Your ass is part of the fix. A1 old news media is a part of the fix. Woodson is a part of the fix. The kills, we got to say, fuck it, come together and say, we're going to have to unite and watch this. 
everybody can't be chiefs. You're going to have people playing different roles just like they do. Just like they have boys, we got our own damn boys. And it ain't for the weak hearted. It ain't for the sellout, as they say. It's got to be for people really got poor people, white, black, blue, green, and heart. We can make it. Because why? It's two types of power. You got money power or you got people power. We lost Maurice for a second. Okay. Okay, there you go. There you go. Yep. It's two types of power, Terrence. Money okay. or people. We may not have the money, but if we got the people power, his ass out of there. Then exactly. they'll fly right. And behind the scenes, it won't be a worthy. It won't be a, 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 a Quincy. Because we'll be able to identify, and you have to have a true news media. It ain't no damn ABC 12, NBC, and M MSNBC, and all that shit. We right. need something from Flint to where, wait a minute. It ain't biased. We got to work on that shit because we can't play team. We got to play rescue while we got right. a chance. Right. I'm telling you, if you only win. United, you stand. They united down there at their plots and plans in them back rooms. We, you, you won't never know nothing about it. I can name names like hell, but I just won't do it. Right. It wasn't no executive session. I guarantee you this. You ain't heard Maze Man act a goddamn fool, but I, he ain't said now name. We was in the meetings. Jerry Wolf Carter in the meetings. You know, zip, throw away the damn key. Right. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. That's why when Winters asked me about running, ain't no way in the hell you can run for second ward, third, fourth, unless the people know the, the corruption behind the scene. They're going to mail out all this dark ass flyers talking about you, me, and everybody else, how corrupt and dysfunctional I dare us to come together. It's going to be hell. This city will turn around and the poor folks will keep their house. Right. Because they're telling them they willing, but the rules have changed. Question them got to change that damn charter. May say, council, we write law and ordinances. We, gonna we need to change that shit they done and bring it back to where your house is no longer. Right now, everything over here, including me, is condemnable. That's why them regular ass, brand new red trucks riding around like they police now and going on people's property, pulling their cars. Damn it, if you ain't driving it, it's your damn car. If you ain't got no plate. What the hell problem is it parked on my own property? It's bull crap, man. We got to unite. This is our last ditch effort. And you're a smart man. That's why I love having a real dialogue because hopefully your crowd ain't that soft crowd. <laughs> see, wow. Older folks, they don't know nothing about Facebook. Nothing man, about man. no social media. Right, 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 right. But they do know one thing. They want to keep their damn house. Yeah. Everybody want to keep their house. Old, young, old. You know what I mean? It's an age um, to a house before the roof come cave in. Yeah, man. They know that it's an age. Your roof coming down. I don't give a damn how new it is. It's going to rot away. So you need some rehab. So we united. Habitat going to change. Or either they ain't getting no damn funding. Exactly. And, and then watch this. It's more than just local. It's state, that damn governor, all the way up to that damn Biden in the White House. You right. got to send a different message. It's real. Right. It can't be about point of order, ha ha he he, and, and that little mammy pammy shit, because they moving money while all that's going on. They stop. Have you seen anything stop? Have you seen the mayor sitting there and, and, and uh, the CEO of Ashley Capital and all the rest of them sitting there while they climb? Hell no. They ain't going up to that discord, but they're happy about it. Because what? They're not functional, so that means if I equal all nine of them, I can get some business done with me, you, and whoever else we're around this table with. Let's get this done. We got the powers. We got the city attorney. We got everything in place. Let's get it done. We got the judges. Let's get it done. And you got billionaire corporations. Who the hell? What Pope folk can affect that? None. And then the shops, the, the jobs they bring, ain't nobody in Flint. They poison the kids. They ain't going to get the job. So they're going to out county the employees into the city. I could scream, man. 
kids ain't got cars and it, they don't they deserve better than this. They need care. And guess what they built for their ass when they graduate? If they get lucky, like the girl throws the chair, she's residing right now. Where? The juvenile home. Until she get of age, then the county and or the penitentiary. That's not right, man. They poison our ass. The water, we ain't seen them dying. We was divided. We we wanted the pot of money. Uh, we needed more. They brought the piggy bank. I want them to do this. And I want, they ain't gave us now damn dime. And hey, once I found out, hey, the plaintiff hey, was about six. Huh? Hey, Mark, what you think a man about them motherfuckers they let go up into the sunset? They dropped all the charges against the state and city officials, man. I can after scream. They after they poisoned us, man. And guess who did it? Who? Worthing. The one that Kim Worthing, whatever name that, that hung down, on, down, the down Detroit. Talking about the prosecutor down in Detroit. Yes. You knew. We bought again because that black woman was tough. Oh, she finna get Snyder now. She got them all right. Backroom deal, just like with Gretchen Whitmire. You heard what's uh, what's to say? Hell, she hang with Republicans. They ain't got us at heart, man. As long as we divided, they got us. They got us. We got to wake the hell up today, not tomorrow. That's fake discord. Like I said, if they wanted to end that that back and forth shit with Mays and all them downtown, you'll see the chef department in there instead of Metcalf. And I mean it before five officers. And they would be the one to keep order in there. If you think I'm lying, who in the hell is the parliamentary at court? Yeah, Man, did everybody shut the fuck up in court? Yeah, how you if you think about it, how the hell can Matt Kev take take keep order down there? You know what I mean? He like one of the key and, and, no, and then watch this. Even at North, they keep the same police. Yeah, that same police been there. Get used to you, but let them them real cops come up in that damn thing. That's what I'm Game saying. Game gonna change. I bet you people shut the hell up. When they clink a couple of them, you're gonna be quiet in that some bitch unless you wanna stay all night somewhere else. Right. right like they told right, us right. with the water, you better bring your toothbrush. Right. Because you ain't going home. Right. Hey, hey, Marcus, I put up an old clip. I want your thoughts on this, man. You whipped you whipped your camera out with uh Erica got to with my man. What's that motherfucker? Um Ken Scott. Ken Scott. Ken Scott. Yeah. What, 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 what would you elaborate after, after? What was your thoughts when this happened? I can tell you. I'll yeah. tell you. I've been stuck in my mind. You can hear me without the mic. But I've been stuck in my mind. I mind. want the public to hear you. Answer that question. Okay. Mr. So, Mays. Mr. Let me finish. Ken Scott. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking. You Don't do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm going to interrupt you because this is our hearing. It's not yours. So go ahead and don't tell me what to do. I'm going to tell you one Okay, time. well, you can get up and walk and we'll go across the street. We can do that. Okay, whatever you want to do. Y'all, yeah. it's y'all politics. I ask a simple question. Go ahead and proceed, and then, and then we're going to see what you do. I will interrupt in order to keep this right. Madam Chair, when I'm asking questions, I'm going to do. He ain't going to run this. Go ahead, Mr. Scott. Madam Chair. I don't allow nobody to disrespect me or my client. So once you can get him under control, we'll be back. Let's go. So you leaving? I want the record to show that Mr. Gilchrist is walking out. Now what I want to do is put a motion on the floor to subpoena the mayor or ask her to come up here at the next meeting. And I so move. There's a motion on the floor to subpoena the mayor for the next meeting. Is there a second? There's a motion on the floor, Ms. Fields. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Madam Chair, let me say this. That looked like something that was staged. And I'm here to tell you this. I'm no Mr. Chair. Scott. Mr. Scott, you're out of order. You can move and leave. You said Madam you Chair. were gone. I'm asking you to do, but you ain't going to stand in the middle. Point of order. You out of order, Mr. Scott, and you, your business is over. You don't need to talk to me. Okay. You had your chance to talk Mr. to me. Why are you walking up here on me? Get on Mays. back away Councilman from me. Councilman Mays. Oh, what? Oh, what? You know this what? is inappropriate. Oh, what? what? We get are taking a meeting. Get away from me. This is get it. away from me. You're out of order. Get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. You, you want to crack me across my head? And I'm going to tell you what. I want this sent to the police. You ain't cracking me across my head. 
Well, you ain't going to threaten nobody in no public meeting because your man don't want to answer an easy question. I'm going to make a promise to you. You're not going to interrupt this meeting threatening no elected official with no physical violence. I don't care what kind of suit you wear. Councilman Mays. I don't Councilman care what Mays. kind of suit you Councilman wear. Councilman Mays, I'm asking you and to calm down. And you're making your client look bad. So go on with that mess. Councilman we in discussion on a motion. Now let me say that, Madam Chair, did you recognize me? I point did, of, Councilman Mays. Point of privilege. Point of, point of privilege, Madam Chair. There's a point of privilege. Would you What's please quiet? Hey, 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 Marvin, what were you thinking at that time? I see you whipped the cell phone out. <laughs> what was going through your mind, man? Well, see, I know the whole history of that. Okay. And uh, a lot of people, you have to pay attention, as Bobby Moe say, attention to detail on that. What happened was is this. Mays, I, I don't know if he was a, a financial chair or not, but the story behind it is this. He subpoenaed Gil. Gil got his attorney, which is by all, y'all may not know, Ken Scott is me, Mazes, and everybody else that know him. We all friends. I'm included. Been knowing, I played for Ken. Nario. If anything to be said, I don't give a damn who like it. I'm just giving you the truth. It's really showing how Mays don't give a damn who you are. If you don't agree with him, your ass and he. Now, anybody <laughs> remember anything about Council Gill is with who? Weaver. Am yeah, I right, right or wrong? You remember that case? Yeah, right. You're right. Gill was with You're Weaver. Right. Huh? Correct. Now, he said if you paid attention, if the mayor didn't come up to her ass and be subpoenaed. Now, for Mays to get that upset, the question now, I'm going to bounce it back to you. If it was a team and he had to subpoena Gil and, and so upset with Weaver, but he said he was so for Weaver that the people out in the public don't really know, what team was Mays playing with? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Run that by me one more time. Hold on. I'm, I, I wasn't planning. To, um, go ahead, go ahead. You so you said if 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 if, if Eric did what now? Listen, 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 listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Eric, I'm gonna like tell you like it He go wanted ahead. to subpoena weaving them for not coming up there and giving information. And what's his name? I forgot it was the the financial man. He was Newsom. Newsom. Okay. Okay. That Mays oftentimes said how he got us out of the $23 million deficit. You heard that, I'm sure. Yeah. Yep. However many, I'm I, it's off the top of my head. We was in deficit and he or uh, he got us out. That administration that got us out the deficit that Mays oftentimes talk about. So why in the hell somebody that's for you, I'm for you, I'm for Mickey Jordan or whoever. I'm going to put you on a public display when I know election is coming. At that time, Monica Neal was with uh, 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 Neely. whole lot of them was Kate Fields, Neely. Did it seem like Mays was with Weaver? Yes or no? And I shut the hell. See, that's the game I don't play. And you got to be strong to do a media set. Got to be none biased. And if he had to subpoena her, he wasn't, he wasn't with it. Wait, say that again. If he had to subpoena her, he wasn't with it, right? <sighs> You're absolutely right. And right. watch this. Even if we did not, me and you didn't have a damn agreement, do we need to sell it on this podcast? No. Hell no. no we At McDonald's? We phone call? Right, right. We can sell it like man. You got right. to be careful. My ass is too dangerous with my mouth because I'm not swellable. I notice I go eat, I don't give a damn. I'm just gonna get and the same thing since we're over here. Remember W.T. Stevens, the black contractor with the waterline replacement. Neely never gave him their money. He need to do this. Notice I talk about Neely ass, but then I'm gonna defend his ass because W.T. was under a uh, uh, Weaver's administration. We had a late night council setting to pay them for their work. 
It was five of us sitting there. All four of us, yes, yes, yes. Rhonda sitting there, Jeff Greer, her husband sitting there, and most of their workers, employees were sitting there. May said what? I abstain. If they haven't got all their money, I don't believe to the day, a million dollars in their face. Yeah, I, I was just, actually, they still ain't got their money, huh? To this still day. ain't got their money. Now, who caused that? I'll wait on the answer. <laughs> so, what a, long story short, nobody <laughs> perfect. Right. Am I making sense? Right, right. Okay, right, right, do the right. homework. Do you do the check my race? I ain't not, never been nothing to play with, but what oh. happened is. Maze, like I said on my podcast yesterday, is the lead singer in a group called Prince. He is Prince. So he out front. It ain't nothing wrong with that. But Prince got to have a drummer, a band, guitar player, and a whole lot of shit going on behind him, which he give credit to everybody. It can't be just you. It can't be just me. I have to pass the ball to 810. I can't do it. I'm trying to get records and shit together. So when I do a podcast, Bless everyone. I hope they bust national all over, and you as well. I can't be, I, I ain't got a jealous bone in me. I used to have, but I found out only one I'm hurting is my damn self. I'm cursing myself. Jealousy only hurt the person that's jealous. Hey, it's true. Hey. So, remember, uh, we, when we and you had our conversation just on the phone, you told me to ask you a question that others scared to answer. To ask you. Please. I got one for you right now. So, so, so it's safe to say, not personally, politically, you don't fuck with Maze. You want me to ask it per, uh, yeah, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah we, we ain't talking about personal. Listen, listen we're talking about listen. political. We're talking about political. Listen, I consider Maze if somebody, I'm sure how ignorant I am, my best fucking friend. He ain't never did nothing. If I call his ass, he come. That ain't got nothing to do with Maurice never being wrong or Terrence never being right. Just like your mom and them, sometimes you have to whoop your own kid's ass right or wrong. You hate their gut? No. You have to correct them. Correct. Man, he's got a talent, man, but he also crazy as hell with it. And if he put that shit in be where you could tell him something without him losing it, he went against Weave. He going against uh, 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 Neely. He go against Inez Brown. He went against every damn William Newsom. But yet, the same time, you come back and say, how we done it? How could they have done it if they hadn't stayed the course? Like you hear me talk about Neely. I ain't holding no bods again, but I ain't going to lie on him. I ain't going to lie on Mays. Do that make every damn thing? Watch this. When I first got on council, I was Jerry Woodford Carter. I was Tony. Second, they said, Maurice, Kate Phil, Maurice, what the hell wrong with you second and everything that man do? Because I'm going to tell you why. I wanted to learn what he knew. Second, the man knew his shit. Mays know his shit. But the problem, Mays got to know this. You got to, in a professional arena, just like when I hit the stage, I got a conversation here. I got a conversation at church that's different. I got a conversation on that council that's different. And on stage, certainly different. So you have to know which one to be in. Just like a bill collector call you or your pastor. You can't. Fuck you. Bitch, I'm going to beat your ass off get off this phone. Hell no. Oh, uh, pastor, just <laughs> put it on me. You, if you don't sit your motherfucker. Pastor, I'm back. Same thing. Same thing. Everything don't vibe. and then here go another thing. The public okay. have to get okay. Just because when you're on council, you debate each item, each resolution individually. You don't throw nobody away. I don't care if it's even worthy or who Kate feels no way if they vote different. This is the key. When important shit come up, and I put I want to put, I'm going to use a maze phrase. Okay, we want to say put houses out of foreclosure. I'm going to lobby their ass while my mic. Look, uh, uh, Kate, I need you to help me. I got people losing everything over there in my ward, and I know I help y'all, And but this time I need you to help me. Uh, 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 Worthen, I need some help. This got to pass, ma'am. People losing everything. Now watch this. I go, and, and my vote don't pass. Remember, there's a lot of blacks on there. I get it. 
if you want to use the word white folks didn't vote that way, but why in the hell the black folks didn't vote that way? That go to problem. Why? Because of the click, you done divided yourself. You argue different things on council, but you should never side. That come from experience on the council. That's why you hear me oftentimes say, I don't want no motherfucker call me. Nobody. Because they lobby you and weaken you down on your phone, one-on-one, uh, -on -one or, or through somebody. You can't serve nobody of somebody in your ear. We can serve. Mays oftentimes, he get, he got... He, he got a heart for the side, but watch this. On the agendas that come every week, every week, pay attention. Ain't got a damn thing to do with us. That's where the problem. Now, we ain't in, 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 in one disc, uh, in one order. Watch this. Only thing getting moved is what they want moved. I would vote for Ashley Cow. I don't give a damn how much their Oprah's be and all these other tax credits. No, okay, well, hold up. Y'all going to remove these stipulations that you're going to help people get roofs. I'm concerned about our shit, just like they're concerned that. I don't care how they make their money 100 years from now. Help these people that's losing everything now. Kids ain't got nothing. People, retirement checks. Go, let's go to the state. We should have one accord of what we want Gretchen Woodmire to do. You got to up them damn uh, uh, pension checks. You have to do it because cost of living going increasing too much. It's the same thing with the shops in the union. If the union we tell the people gonna suffer. It damn ain't gonna be management. The mayor only deal with management. And when, before you put another mayor in that chair, it's got to be the same discussion because he run all nine wards. The mayor run all nine. I don't care damn how much Mays talk. He won. He run one ward, the first ward. I hope hey. that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. That's why I look. That's why Lily. I'm just gonna say it. that's why he had never lose. I done picked his formula all right. He um Correct. look, he um shut they don't, North Side don't get shit. He concentrated on downtown. Who downtown? The white people. Let me tell it you. Part. It ain't they part. It's do that's what the white he can't know. Um what's that? Um the college down there, all that all that's beautiful as fuck. That's where when all the money go. That's where right. all the money go, right? So yes. Okay. So Black people don't vote, man. It's just basic. Black people don't vote, man. I'm sorry if y'all get mad at me. White people vote. So Lily formula is if he can get a thousand white people to believe in him, fuck you ten thousand niggas, because probably only two or three hundred you gonna come out and vote. And that's his formula, man. That's his formula. I'm telling you. That's his, I'm telling tell you, Maurice. Terrence. I don't need your mouth. Terrence. Yes, Listen. Sir. You spot on. <laughs> you spot on. You spot sir. on. That's why it was imperative for them to rezone this shit. What? They putting white folks over here to leverage it out. <laughs> right. Now, the ones that would vote halfway that will make sense, they don't need or they and this is not a racial discussion by all no, means. It's not. No, it's not. no, it's not. But it's just the truth. Black it's folks real. never had a fair chance. Look at our damn schools, man. Martin, Merrill, every damn thing we got. Why in the hell you can't have a reunion at your real school? Go to Grand Blank. Every fucking school they ever had still sitting there. That tell you about the leadership. Watch this. We got a damn grocery store. I'm mad as hell because I know shit I think. I'm hoping I'm wrong. When is it going to open? Like I say, that the Asia uh, Capitol building, that gigantic, huge building, go open for that grocery store. Why? The multi million dollar partials on the poor, in the poor neighborhood, it raises the taxes. It's all about that tax increase because they study. This is green space. All of this. That's why my building, man, y'all need to understand. Wherever you see that green ride on Dayton and see that historic sign, millions of dollars is with that sign. I talked to them. I ain't talking about what I hope to do. Beverly, we had meetings on meetings. Davis, we need to build it because we want to develop Civic Park School. 
They done burnt it. They done did everything to it. But I got a question, and it was Phil Schultz. Uptown Investment, the one that built the Capitol Theater, Country City Academy, the 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 Garden Hill, uh, all of this stuff downtown. They own eight, nine people own downtown. I'll give them what a nigga say. Eight or right. nine of them own downtown. Right. Stakeholders. But right. what I'm telling you is this. Once they put these multi-million bursting before uh, uh, Brian passed, Neely <laughs> and uh, uh, Sec Third Ward, Quincy Murphy, signed off on the, in front of the news camera, Burston Field House for 25 years, city charging them $300 a month, by the way. Mm -hmm. I, 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 and I know I'm over jumping if I say it's 600. It would all of the stuff go down there, but they gave it away to downtown. That's what you see them fancy like. That's why you ride by there, you see them damn tractors. Put the niggas out of there, throw them up on Dayton and Brian. I know too damn much. Right. And I'm telling you the truth. Well, I made them down there, point of order, point of information. They, it's a brand new fucking flint where black folks used to live. Ha ha he he. Ha ha he he. Liddell is good. All of y'all damn off money. Y'all want to know where it's at? Where is that, Maurice? I know you're going to tell us. On Dayton Street. Why? Wow. When I was downtown, the most money in this city moves through the second ward. Okay. They got to have somebody in compliance with that second ward. Listen. Now, Look at how the grass getting mowed. Flynn's store is at the foot of it. It's Brownfield. I don't know if y'all know it on the corner of Pearson and, and Clio. <laughs> it's the development waiting to happen. Over here where I said it's ground zero, I'm looking for any day for me to get a crooked ass letter talking about I'm going to be condemned out this building. They did it once before I got on Historic District Commission say they said, look, all taxes of my shit paid. I owe nobody nothing. Watch this. But they say they got an emergency demo on my shit. Right. Emergency demo hey. with all taxes paid right over here on Dayton. Hey, 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 Marie. Barbara yes. Mosley, Barbara Mosley, Pastor Thrill Kill, um, stay at the grocery store. He said it will be open October 1st. I guess he meant October 1st, 2024, huh? Because it's October 1st, 2023 right now, the day as we speak. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this is me. Gretchen Woodmire can't be that damn dumb. Neely can't be that damn dumb. All of them with them shovels that dug in that ground in a public arena can't be that damn dumb. They put that building in Flynn left before it was up, erected. Now uh, semi-trucker groceries. Now an employee uh, 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 and job opportunities up there. Now watch this. It's to increase the value of the property of people that's on fixed income and that's retired. Now you got this multi-million dollar building sitting there. You got Burson, a multi-million dollar business sitting there. Well, on the north side, then Nakada, uh, uh, next door to the Broom Center, the next block is going to be a sports complex. Y'all know that, I hope so, right by uh, Muffler Man. On Saginaw, by hammer droppers. That's going to buy the motorcycle club. It's going to be a sports complex right there. On Saginaw Street? Hell, it, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. On Saginaw, two doors from uh, Sylvester Broom, which he owned that as well. Is, the moment a, I know I'm on economic development. This is what I'm telling you. What's going to be a huh? soccer stadium? A soccer stadium? It's a sports complex, and you know what? That could be it, what Neely was talking about yesterday. <laughs> Very well. He said on the north end. And you already know about the 100, watch this, the cheap houses is 109000 up to $250,000 in Flint. And watch this, the north end of Flint. What the hell? How can you afford, watch this, to live in Lake Flint in a shack? Because of where the property's at. So they concocted a, a, a woman from Grand Blank know how to assess higher taxes. Land Bank will not sell your damn house unless you can prove what you're going to do with it. When they used to 
be just all we want to do is help the resident. Now they're a damn landlord. Terrence, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. That that council is divided for a reason. While they, they disorganize, it's easy because they distracted. Let's get this shit done. Let's get right. it done. Because they got the political power and, and know how to do it. And all hey, you do hey. is open your eyes. It's getting done. It's getting hey, done. Hey, Mario, you got any um, you got any resolutions that 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 that, that, the, that the council need to hear from you, man? That they can get their shit together, Hell man, yes. so they can start Hell doing yes. the, getting the business for the for the city. Hell down, yes, man. yes, yes. Hell yes, I got resolution. Every problem got a solution. But see, first, here go the first resolution. It would be a phone call made because you only have he right. You only have two councilmen. Where we in agreement, Maze, first let's deal with these stipulations. Before we deal with the taxes, anything else, and, and all this other stuff that's going on, let's deal with, they got to be able now, it's an emergency. When you ride from Saginaw, Dayton up, you'll see elderly people, They have, some of them house about to fall in them. But yet, what do you, they had dumbass meetings where the public gonna tell us what we need to do with the opera fund. Hell, if you got eyes, Joe, you can ride your ass around like you sent them red trucks to ticket people and tell them what to do. Knock on their door, say, sir, we see your roof need to be done. We're here to help. It ain't gonna cost you a dime. We wanna help you. How, if I'm married, how can I not do that? So if his ass ain't got that kind of sense, counsel. Quincy, look, we got to help these people. Your ward, my ward, we, you can start with your ward. And then we'll tell media, we're going to work to get everybody in. Ain't no, you ain't got to even come down here. We're going to use our damn eyes on who the worst is. Triage that. Whoever the worst is, you triage first and get them going. People have nothing. With all this new damn equipment, elderly people, we're going to make a list. Okay, Mr. Brown, that's over the so-called blight with the damn lamo. Now you're going to get snow shovels and snow blowers. Elderly people, we're going to shovel their snow, make sure they ain't shit in. It's all kinds of shit I would write, man. But the kills is to the people that put my ass in the chair. Right. And if you think I'm lying, me and Beverly did it off record and it pissed me off. Now I told Beverly, I promise you today, sidewalks. We did that two years ago. No action. No action whatsoever. Trees, no action. Ride in the second ward. All action you want. Why? It's the favoritism. I didn't know they went behind my damn back. Him, Flynn, and, and, and Thrill Kell, and Tom, Dick, and Harry. Chris Martin. I'm not scared to name now Crook's name. But down there, it ain't about me hooping. I'm just frustrated as hell because the public don't know. They bought a damn lie with that Republican shit with my name when Mickey Jordan, he had it. When he say, who else could you go to other than the most powerful man on earth? I did this news just like we talking now. And then before I got off, it was what's the name? Charlie McDuff in Detroit. He said, Davis, you the vice president of the city council. Who are you going to vote for this year? Democrat or Republican. I say, well, hell, I'm a, I'm a damn Democrat. But I tell you one damn thing. Oh, regular ass Biden, that's my word to him. He said, I ain't black unless I vote Democrat. I ain't voting for no motherfucker. That ain't going to do nothing for me. Hey, you, may, hey, you remember when we were talking about that yesterday, Maurice? What that yes, you did. Said? What that Ask Mickey Jordan. He, he must, it's, it's on. I tell you what, that actual verbiage ain't there. But if you listen to me standing there at Bishop Airport, and then watch this. Trump responded. Scared the hell out of me. Beverly said. I thought it was a joke. The White House, what? This is the president's uh, whatever, whatever, whatever through the Secret Service. Watch this. Said he going to be in Lansing. It was like three or four days after that. I said, wow. And the president would like to talk to you. You're a Democrat. The president want to talk to you. And then on the phone, I got through. They said, I forgot who I was talking to. It was way up the ladder then because I was on Fox News. I was on all of their shit, all of their network. And he said, um, uh, Mr. Davis, 
how is Flint doing up there? He said, no, he didn't. He said, how is the water up there now? I said, well, Mr. President, the water here still ain't right. He said, hold up. All of the money that's been sent there, y'all, you trying to tell me the water ain't fixed? Hell no. Obama came up I said, Mr. President, lying motherfucker. They took the money and did other things with it. We still right. can't drink this water. He right. said, well, Mr. Davis, what do you think I could do to help? Now, this is what pissed me the fuck off. Politics. I said, Mr. President, if you could only, and I took my time because I needed him to understand this serious shit. If you could only, Mr. President, give us at least, remember the stimulus check we had? Yeah. I said, if you could at least give us about five or $600 a month, watch this, until our water be able to drink. Because the reason being, it's a lot of elderly people. We are poor city, municipality, and people don't have cars. And that way they could take their time whenever they get available a ride. They go get their own water while sitting in lines for four and five hours. Any way you can help us do that, send us some money, at least five to six hundred dollars a month. You know what he said? What he do? And I ain't gonna lie on him. I will not lie on Trump like I wouldn't lie on Biden. That man turned around and said the exact word, Mr. Davis. That's when he said, meet him and last. I said, Mr. President, I forgot what it was. I couldn't be there. He said, I'll tell you what. Wednesday, I need you to be on the tarmac of Bishop Airport. I'm having Vice President Pence. Hey. He's going to arrive. Hey, he said, own. I need you there. You ain't got to worry, but stick hey. you're going to be clear. You, talk, you, talk, you talking about this? You talking about this right here? Hold on. What an honor to be standing before you at a serious time like this in the world. Pandemic, the China virus or a plague. I even caught it and was in intensive care twice. The narrative has been spent. This is not a game, folks. President Trump, Vice President Pence. God used whoever he want to to bring his people out of whatever the problem have to be. Right now, the narrative been spent. President Trump is full of hate. Let me tell you something. The Democrats is full of hate. I'm tired. I've been a Democrat. I am a Democrat all my life. 64 years. Last four years, I voted for Hillary Clinton. This year, I decided to go with President Trump. I'm not a bootlicker. I'm not an Uncle Tom. I'm none of those things. I'm somebody that's in a poor, impoverished community. President Trump, thanks to my good friend, Charles LaDuff out of Detroit, I was doing a piece on closing liquor stores early because I live inside of a crime scene right here in Flint. People are in foreclosure right here in Flint. People are losing everything. And when Mr. Trump said, what the hell you got to lose? He was talking to me. He was not talking to my seat. Only thing Maurice D. Davis got to lose is a council seat at $700 every two weeks. But this is what I got to gain. Instead of being a divided state of America, it's time to be the United States of America. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I don't want to hear fault. He without sin cast the first stone. We saved under grace. God used whoever he want to, such as times like these. Vice President Pence, the Trump administration, they reached out to me. Our water crisis has been silent. I've been before probably 170 million people in a couple of days. Interviews everywhere, and people accuse me of being selfish. People dying right here and have died. We're tired of suffering, and nobody give a damn about poor folks. President Trump, they rushed out with nothing but love from y'all all over this nation. I don't want to hear another time 
I'm a Trump supporter. I'm an American supporter. Y'all have more love. Now, the Democrats call me every name but the child of God. And I'm going to shut up because I got two minutes because much more I can say. But I'll tell you one thing. This nation is one nation under God. One nation under God. Thank y'all for listening. Thank you. The Democrats got motherfuckers brainwashed, man. I was one. I was one of the brainwashed motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie to you, Mari. What that sound was, like to me? I was pleading for help. Yeah. And you, the got man, should have had his hand up. Every council person should have been there. Now look. Now look. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. You still there, Terrence? Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm waiting on. Okay. I, mean, I know you. But gonna listen, tell us. I know you're gonna tell us. Listen, listen. A lot of people that's doing good, they may not know. I done seen just about everything to be seen. I done travel everywhere that you can run. What goes up, Terrence, come down. People are a problem. God is God all by himself. But people politic as a so-called Christian. God created the heaven and earth and everything in it by himself. If God will use this man he created, to bless us, and let me thumb that. I'm gonna put a, 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 a thumbtack right there and back up. Trump sent, I can scream, a press conference while Weaver was in office, a press conference in the city hall. All media, watch this. This is a Democratic stronghold called Gretchen, Gretchen Whitmire, all this money passing, man. He sent. Mike, uh, not uh, uh, uh he, he's not uh, Ben Carson with a 30 million dollar check because Trump said he heard about this flood plane on Atherton Road, which is the, 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 the whatever they call them, uh, projects. He said nobody should live like this. Brought a 30 million dollar check, and you see them damn apartments right across from University Park. This is roller apartments. You know what I'm talking about on Saginaw. Yeah, I know. Right where in front at. of Smith Village. Yeah, I know where it's at. Trump built them damn he apartments. They were doing the people from the terrorists, Athen terrorists. Correct. But them yeah. raggedy ass Democrats, <laughs> them raggedy ass Democrats, this is what happened. Suzanne Wilcox was the planning and director of City of Flint. Hey, After look, look. Trump sent the money, guess what she did? The What's poor that? people, if you find anybody that lived in African terrorists, they put qualification that none of them damn near could qualify to live in them apartments when it was done. Right. And Trump built them for poor folks that have a better live. They had to go through the credit. Mm -hmm. They had to go through training. That He said they could walk to work from there. It would help. Which he was talking about Lear at the time. Right. Hey, but in, in, in council, zip, you'll hear nothing. Why? Republican did it. Hey, People man. don't want that narrative out there because it's going to cut their money off. The right. Democrats give money. Yes, they do. But they only give it to nonprofits. They give it out of one pocket, put it in the other. Look at your opera right. funds. Right. Look at the damn water funds. Right. We hey, ain't hey, seen Maurice. a damn dime. Six hundred million. Ain't seen. A, ain't heard another peep of it. Hey, Mari. So I understand what you were saying. You was pleading for help for the whole for all the Flint, but then you had people come at you sideways. I guess because the narrative is Donald, Donald Trump just ain't shit. He, he's a racist. No, whatever, no, whatever, no, whatever, no, right? no. So look, I dug this up, man. Remember this right here. Hold on. 
Peace and blessings, everyone. Hope everybody enjoying this Saturday evening. I just wanted to jump on here, man, and respond to what Maurice Davis was talking about, man. Listen, man, look, man, this is me. You know, Maurice, this is me and you. Look at me. That step that you on, what you represent is garbage, man. You a disgrace to this whole culture, this city, Beverly and yourself, man. This is ridiculous. And you need to be dealt with. So don't get upset when folks calling you out because you on garbage, you on nonsense. You don't represent for nobody in that second war. You don't even represent yourself. You don't even represent the skin that you in. So it's ridiculous for you to even go on to that podcast every Saturday, talk about that same lame ass conversation you be having. You know what I'm saying? Showing late signs of Tourette's. This is ridiculous. You can go sit down somewhere. You probably even forgot how to play the guitar. But you know the type of work I put in around this community. And we even just take the second war to talk about Civic Park. You know, I don't live over there, but I'm heavily invested in that. And I love the people in Civic Park. You know, we've done great things in Civic Park. We brought a number of grants, a number of revitalization efforts. We revitalized a number of properties, and made sure a number of families ate, made sure we provided water resources to everybody in that area. And we ain't see you not one time out there, man. So it's just very unfortunate when you come and just try to say this. Um, you don't respect none of that, you know. You're not of this culture. You're not of, you know, anything that we talk about. You're not at our table. And we don't respect you. Hey, listen. <laughs> listen, people got to know the difference between personal and politics, man. That ain't personal. That wasn't personal. I, that was politics? Can I explain something to you? Yes, sir. Elaborate. First seen that little boy. Juwan, I told him to get the hell out of my face. I was over the, with Land Bank. I told him to get the fuck out of my face. And then, I, you know, I bagged up and apologized, but we was meeting down the street at George Tabernacle Church, Pastor Catherine uh, uh, McCather, Pastor McCather. Watch this. Land Bank had these meetings when they started shrinking the North End. It was, let me get the name right. I don't want to fuck over nobody, but I'm going to start at Renetta Speed. I was the president of our neighborhood association, but he selectively forgot that. When we had the meetings, they sent in these little old weak kids like Jawan Robinson to kind of seduce you into believing how much benefit it would be for them on and Maurice fucking up everything. I said, I'll be damned. Lynn, in my association, you work for a community foundation. Maurice, you fucking up. You're going to mess it up for everybody. They're coming to help us. I said, I don't give a fuck what you say. This ain't going to work. I seen the game. Shrinkage. I said, I'm done. I moved our association meeting from there to this damn beauty shop I'm sitting in right now. I'm not meeting there another motherfucking day. Long story short. They wanted to move to another building. We end up at the neighborhood engagement up on Detroit Street. Here come that little kid, the one again, which worked for them raggedy ass. Here we go, nonprofits. I'm showing you, and I picked up on it in the beginning. Nick, get your fake ass away from me. They take the crumbs to fool everybody. Now, what is he talking about? Politically, they had to get my ass out the way. Can't you tell? So the lie and narrative they put out there, I got you now, Trump. I didn't fuck over nobody. I did not never vote, weave or needy against who I represent. But the problem is, it was a star of the show. And the damn show should not be me. My talent make room for me. I don't need nobody to do a damn thing. I'm wrong. What the fuck I'm worried about a city council? In a city that ain't even a major municipality. This ain't Detroit, Chicago, or something. This is a small, tiny ass town. Less than 100,000 people. My job, I see the poverty where I raised in my own town, hometown. But the crumb snatcher, like that little boy, that's all they knew. Name, title recognition, and line up. Fuck y'all, I ain't lining up. I'm not a, I'm, I'm a damn natural born leader. I don't ask for no motherfucking permission. 
I tell Beverly all the time, please answer that because I, I don't want to go here because you're going to be a lot nicer than me. I ain't nothing to play with. Needing them. Woodson, you heard him say, all the man had to do is call you down to his office and pat you on the back. What the fuck I give about a goddamn regular ass office down there? I'm not the one that played, man. People losing everything. I pleaded for the highest powerful man in the world. Help us. And another motherfucker. The same niggas. When Trump came to Flint, this is this a democratic stronghold. He came straight to the goddamn water plant. We even asked was that Obama and said, you're not welcome here. Do y'all remember that, Terrence? Yep. You're not welcome here. What the fuck you mean? You ain't welcome here. Help us. Speak for your own ass. And they out there picking in the president. Then he left there, went on the nigga side of town to Bethel. The preacher snatched the mic from him. Said, we're not political in here. You remember that, Terrence? Yep. Don't play with my... A lie don't need no help. It just needs to be told. I mean, the truth. The truth just needs to be told. I ain't nothing yeah, to play man. with. People losing everything, man. Hey, man. Man, it's I'm been an honor tonight, man. Hey, hey, hey we got to get some of them T-shirts, Maurice. I ain't nothing to play with. Because, man, I swear, I man. But look, swear, ain't man. no residents oh. under the sound of this damn microphone. Because this is all over the nation. Hey, look. I ain't going to lie. Look, I ain't going to lie to you, Maurice. Huh? Look, I ain't lie to you. Um, when you shot that move with Trump, I was, I was, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I, I tell it like it is. You know, I tell it like it is. I was, I was brainwashed by Biden. Of course. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was one of the naysayers. I was one of the ones saying, what the fuck is Maurice doing? You know what I mean? I don't blame y'all. Y'all didn't know. Eventually, but I didn't know. Eventually, I had to play the game. Once you play the game, you master the game. Listen. And once you listen, master the game, you figure listen. it out. You feel me? Write this down. Write okay. this down. Listen. This is a democratic city. Write this down. Whenever Trump get back in the motherfucking office, remember how high gas is now. Remember when his ass was in there. Remember the war right. Putin put against the other because right. they ain't going to fuck with Trump. Trump is a nigger type right. president. All hey, of the hey, rappers right. know Trump is a gangster. Hey, Trump gonna get some Maurice. ass, and they talk about he done rubbed on some ass. What about it, Rubes? We rub asses all the time. People don't man. give a damn about no rubbing ass. Man, fuck with Biden gas, five dollars a gallon. This nigga can't um, even stay woke. A pack of ice tails, a hundred dollars. A family Government size pork, down. pork chops, seventy five dollars, man. And, hey, Trump twenty twenty four, man. Trump and giving women five hundred dollars to have a baby, and you must be pregnant. Wow. What the fuck? Is you kidding me? Yep. On the man show. Kiss my. Why they down there clowning? Right. It's Clown serious, show. man. A nigga like me ain't the one to be on their bullshit. I just, what you hear now is a different Maurice. This is a raw. Because this yeah. ain't for the most soft folks that the ears is too tender. I'm sister uncut, baby. That's what we that's what we set out to do today. And I think we did no. it, man. Hey, hey my hey, job, Maurice, I couldn't wait. It. Hey, Mario, we've been on this mother almost out of the high, man. Give me some uh, closing, <laughs> closing remarks, man. We can go two, three hours, but give me some closing remarks, man. Okay, here go the closing remarks. Okay. This is my reason. And I don't give okay. a damn if you get mad or not now. I'm, I'm okay. finna work your fucking nerves now. Okay. If our black ass don't unite, we should not, we ain't worthy of our motherfucking salt. What do I mean? I done been in the rooms. They unite. Everything they do downtown, they united. The chambers united. The uptown investment, they united. They ain't arguing, throwing over fucking chairs. So the way they make moves on poor black neighborhoods all over the nation is to cause discord. This team for that team. Fuck that. Whoever gonna do the most for you and your family, that's who you better go with. Now, how do you fix it? My closing statement. You must unite. We got to have a news outlet. I'm telling you some dangerous shit. This is not low-hanging fruit. This is way on the top of the tree. It sounds like it's so simple. But you got to have the type of outlet, number one, that fucking CNBC, 
CNN Color News Network bullshit and all this other stuff is tweet. Ricky Smiley's tweet. They get paid to keep your ass a Democrat. We got to inflict, hopefully in the spur all over the nation, it was come on the one accord. Meaning, you got to have one news outlet that me, you, and everybody got to be under where there's only certain people you're going to listen to and keep that bullshit. You got to watch what you hear. Keep it out your ear. You one of them, Tans. You ask me real, to me, simple ass questions, but questions nobody else going to ask because I ain't got nothing but truth in me. My job, I just tell it. But what Mickey Jordan them doing with all of this here technology out here, if we group ourselves under one roof, and if we got disagreements, let's take that shit to the back room. All of like uh, Bob Moore and this one and that, let's take that shit to the back room because people now finna lose everything. If we don't do it, it's our goddamn fault because we got the power, we got a God over us that'll do it. These preachers like Thrill Kelly them gonna be ex they're already exposed. Flynn them already exposed. When this shit don't come to pass and you got a news network, I'm on here, you on here, and you call it as you see it, and now they can trust these niggas is working on one accord. We got some. And don't yeah. just always ha ha he he with maze. Somebody got to have a ball and say, man, you wrong now. Chastise that ass. Or get your ass off council. We got work to do. He got talent. But it ain't nobody right all the fucking time, man. Don't do that to ourselves. You see the result. I've been there 10 years. Where the fuck is the results? I've been there four years, three of them four. I had to learn what I do. Now I got the experience to do it, and I'm telling you how it's done. Now, if I know what I'm doing, like I said, you have to run the city as you run a band. A band got to be on one accord. It makes beautiful music, and it draws people. If what you're doing down there ain't drawing the public to you, you're doing something wrong. And you start from the littlest, the least of them, and build a strong foundation, everybody going up. That's the scripture foundation. That's how the, the base of scripture. To the least of these, you've done it unto me. But the thing of it is, people talk a good game. No, no, no. You play tapes of me. How many Negroes going to get on the platform with the FBI, and uh, uh, C, whatever the fuck you call them, all of the big shots that uh, surround the president, all that shit been waved, and you up here on the podium with the, you don't see that shit too often. We had the ear, but I'm gonna say it again, we got the ear. I'm not telling nobody vote shit, but I'll tell you this, vote for whoever gonna help you. I'm not no Democrat, I'm not no damn Republican. I got a God. So Absolutely. should you. And Absolutely. that's my closing statement. And now y'all have a good, a good day. You hear? Absolutely, man. I enjoy I enjoyed this podcast, man. Um I enjoyed hey, you I, more, I, man. It's so much shit to cover. Maybe later this winter, man, we could do a part two because there's a lot of shit I didn't ask. But um Terrence, y'all the bum. I just hope y'all ass stay true to the game. Stay true yeah. to the game. Yeah, stay be, true to stay, the game. I'm gonna stay true to the game. We can do something, man. Yes, sir. We can do it. Hey man, I'm open for whatever, man. Whatever I need to do, to, 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 to put the people in a better position, man. I'm down with it, man. Um, we got the power. United, oh, we stand, man. That's why did we fall? Hey man, this, thank this you, Terry. This, this is a great podcast, man. Hey man, um, you already know I'm gonna say, um, uh, we'll, uh, stop falling for the banana in the tailpipe, smoking mirrors, bullshit. These white people playing chess. They ain't playing checkers. Uh, we're going to make the hood great again. Uh, we speak for the streets. We out this bitch. Peace. All right. Ray, where you going crazy? You, 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 you are now tapped in with the most realist and controversial show on the net. Flint After Dark Podcast. We, we speak for the streets. We speak for the streets. Yeah. <laughs>
Talk. We speak for the streets. It's your boy, Terrence Sales, a.k.a. Mr. Speak for the Streets, a.k.a. Big T. And you locked in to the number one podcast in Flint, Michigan, Flint After Dark. We speak for the streets. With my co-host, LPZ. We the new dynamic duel. We speak for the street. Peace. Smoking Jay's Barbecue, 3600 South Dork Highway. Home of Big Drip Burger, Little Drip Burger, and Double Big Drip Burger. Open Thursday through Sunday. Best food in town. Barbecue ribs, barbecue chicken, baked chicken, fried fish. With the 